In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can run some custom Lisp routines in AutoCAD. A Lisp routine is basically just a program that can be written to do specific things in AutoCAD. Here we have a program that has been written to create a saw shape. You can see some of the things that it's going to do is set some variables such as a center point, an outer and inner radius, number of teeth, and so on. We can also see some of the commands that will be used to do this circles, polylines, and arrays. Writing the program is beyond the scope of this video. We'll just simply look at how we can run this one. So first I've got to load this one in. I'm going to go to the Manage tab in AutoCAD and load an application. That will bring up my Load Unload Applications dialog. I'll go ahead and load in Saw. And it is going to ask if you want to trust this. You do want to be careful with Lisp routines that you just find randomly on the internet. Because since it is a program, it is something that could contain a virus, but I'm comfortable with this one, so I'm going to tell it to always load this one. And I can see it successfully loaded, and I'll click close. So that created a new command called saw for me. If I type in saw and press enter, at my command line, I'm going to get several different prompts. So I'll start with the center point. I'll click somewhere on screen. It's going to ask me for an outer radius, so I'll say 8. An inner radius, I'll say seven. So that'll basically control the height of each of the teeth. Then it'll ask me how many teeth I want. I'll say 36. It's gonna have a hole in the middle. I'll give that a one inch radius and then a quarter inch hub around it. And there you can see it generated the saw shape. So once again, it was really just a polyline and an array and a couple of circles but it was able to take all of those inputs that I typed in to create this shape. That concludes this look at running a Lisp routine in AutoCAD.